Hello everyone, how are you today? This is Mark. I'm doing just great. Thanks for asking. Stephen looked happy to see me at the party. Learning English is extremely important for your future. Liz found the city quite hectic. The cat appeared behind the couch. I feel a bit of a loser by talking to a video camera. In this lesson, we're going to look at linking verbs, so stay tuned. When you want to describe a situation or even somebody, for example, to list the qualities of something or somebody, we use linking verbs. They are sometimes called copulas. These linking verbs are be, prove, appear, smell, look, go, keep, become, get, stay, turn, sound, taste, and seem. There are some others, but these are the most important ones. I've listed some rules to follow. They link the subject and the complement of a statement, just like my first introductory example. Stephen, here Stephen is the subject, looked, so look is the linking verb, happy to see me at the party. Happy to see me at the party here is the complement. Now, another example could be his positive attitude, his positive attitude here is the subject, then we have was, which is the, the verb to be, is the linking verb, surprising, the complement. Now, another rule, adjectives can be used as complements. We saw the first example at the, uh, at the beginning of the lesson, learning English is extremely important to your future, I think, or for your future. So here we have important, which is the adjective, and the verb to be is. Another example could be, she seemed sad yesterday when she heard the news. Here, seem is the linking verb to seem, seemed, sad, sad is the adjective. Let's look at other rules. Okay, so verbs such as find and make can be used with both an object and a complement, just like my example. Liz found, find, here is the linking verb, the city, the object, quite hectic, the complement. Hectic means busy and confusing. Another example could be, my math teacher used to make me depressed. So here we have make, the verb, the linking verb, right here, then we have me, the object, and then depressed is the complement. Another rule is we can use a prepositional phrase instead of a complement. If you want to watch a lesson on prepositional phrases, you can click here. The cat appeared, appear is the linking verb here, behind the couch. Behind the couch is a prepositional phrase. Another example, my mom is in front of the street. And here, in front of the street, obviously, is the prepositional phrase. Now, the last rule that I want to uh, talk about is we could use descriptive nouns or noun groups after some linking verbs. For example, feel, seem, sound, represent, look, etc. My two examples are he seems, and here seem, see, to seem is the linking verb, a nice person. A nice person is a descriptive noun. So, the other example with the noun group in this case, they feel, feel is the uh, linking verb, the water of the river, here is the noun group, okay, the water of the river, flowing near their cabin. Now, let's recap. In this lesson, I talked about linking verbs, such as go, be, become, get. They usually link the subject to the complement. I've listed five useful tips for you to follow. If you haven't understood, please re-watch the video. So that's it for today. If you have any comments, requests, or if you want to post your own example, you may do so under this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. You'll get next week a new lesson. 
Have a great day and I see you next week. Take care. Bye bye.